Hey and a warm welcome to this uh, short introduction video of uh, our uh, Huisbeel, our camper. In this uh, short video I will show you some uh, <coughs> practical tips on uh, how you can uh, work with uh, the Huisbeel to make your life a little bit easier on travel. I understand that um, at the handover everything goes a little bit quick, so that is why I make this uh, short introduction video. So to start first, I'll uh, rock around the uh, hoose build to explain everything what, what is what. And then uh, later we go into uh, more details. So obviously this is the uh, entrance of the uh, hoose build. Here is where the gas buttons are. When the lock is like this, it means closed. When it's horizontal uh, or vertical, it's, uh, it is uh, open. Door closed open you just pull there's a little lever here when you press this the stairs will go down and go up as you can see makes it easier to get in this is the power connection currently it's connected when you want to disconnect it you can't pull you need to release this lever so you need to pull and then pull. So make sure you press the tab because that's in the lock. To enter it again, press it a little bit difficult with one hand. Just flip the lid and click it. And you hear it click also. Here is where the toilet is. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. Yep. Uh, with the return, you need to make sure that this is empty. How to, how to get it out, there's a lever here, you pull it, push it, and click it back, and close the door. Weirdly enough, they try to steal those uh, toilets, so keep uh, the <coughs> lock always in the horizontal position. Cargo area, this is the back, cycles, you can... Uh, carry away the weight of uh, 50 kilos this side it's not much but there here is the uh, air conditioning and here are some uh, level blocks if you are in an even area this is the exhaust for the warm water the exhaust for the fridges and the freezer this is the area where you can get the cash train out. I put some uh, small tools in here. Water. You need to open it with the lock and then it turns around again. Fuel cap. So let's start with the fuel. Remember, this is diesel. So, only diesel. When you put in here <coughs> gasoline, and you notice this before the engine has been started, there's not a uh, major disaster. Just call uh, the insurance, and they will empty the tank for you, so you can continue driving. If you start driving with 95 in the diesel tank, it will destroy the engine. So basically, that will be the end of your holiday. So make sure. It's diesel, what this car needs. Here is the instrument panel. Uh, normally this is for the power, as you can see it. Now it means that the Boodle battery is full. This is the car battery. This is actually not always accurate, so don't worry if it's uh, <coughs> is an, uh, a wrong value there, there's no value there. This is the wastewater, or the, the normal water, sorry, the top one. The down one is the grey water. So this is the, the from the dish, uh, from the shower, etc. This is the main 12 volt power. If you turn this off, all the power will go, go off. If you turn it on, oh, sorry, then it will go on. This is the water pump. You hear it running a little bit. And it will stabilize. Now the water is pressured. 
and this is only being used in the winter this is the heating for the wastewater tank in the winter this remote is the from the air conditioning you turn it on you need to face the feeder which is there you press here on and you can see it turns on now the symbol is cooling this is the moisturizing only fan heating and this is uh, I think it's defrosting actually uh, normally you will have it on cooling uh, and when you want to turn it off press this button then it goes off that is that thermostat for warm water and heating if you turn this on up you get 40 degrees water it takes about 10 minutes to heat the yellow light means that the heater is still working or actually that it's uh, heating at the moment you can turn this button this is the uh, the temperature heat from the ventilation if you're going to use that this exhaust is from the air conditioning so that's not related to it since i don't need it at the moment i'll turn it off then we have the fridge and the freezer when you open it there's a little lid here you need to pull and then up, open it freeze uh, fridge open it close it make sure it closes correctly these handles are in this cupboard as you can see gas this is open when it stands like this this is closed so the fridge is open closed open closed so the fridge is currently open and this one was closed so as we open this now you will see that we have gas i only hold this button for a little bit and then i'll turn but i don't need it right now so i'll turn it back on when you're driving normally close all the guests cupboards nothing new another vent for the air conditioning lights two beds a window there is an uh how do you call it a uh, darkness uh, thingy here and there is a light thingy here all the windows have that we want to open this press this push it up close it again toilet shower yeah what can i tell about the toilet and the shower shower you can shower make sure when you want to open it you flip this little handle so you can use this this is for transport meaning doesn't go everywhere flushing the toilet do your what whatever you need to do close it pull the lever close it again this is the water from the toilet now you flush the toilet now there's water oh by water close Put the cupboard here so everything falls out uh warm cold water yeah what more can i say table we have a tv here with a satellite dish not that stuff not difficult uh then we go to the front bed normally uh, this is the uh, travel mechanism what do you want to do is if you want to use the bed you flip it up and you pull it out until it clicks and you can see here now you have more room so you can sleep then the stairs are downstairs when you're done you flip it up and you make sure that it's full in those holes again 
opening the cabinets, lift this, pull, press this, pull. The speakers are behind here, by the way. So pull and it will open automatically. Table, lift and slide. Uh, yep, yeah, what more? Satellite, if you want to use that. Press this twice on. Keep holding it. Now it's on. You'll see that it's on. It'll go on. The satellite dish will go up. You hear it. You will see it. Here it comes. And now it automatically will find its uh, position. When it found its position, you'll see that the light will go steady and it will say SAT. And then the TV has satellite. Obviously, this only works when you have a SAT card. Which I don't have, but in any case, now it has a satellite. So, but it only works when in a valid satellite connection. <laughs> now we're at the radio. There's a radio button, so you can use the radio without the contact. It takes a little bit to start up. But it will eventually start up. Yep. Well, in the meantime, I will tell you this. There is an uh, how do you call it? An uh, a screen for uh, uh, yeah to make it dark in the cabin. So what you do is you hook it on to these. Oh, get this one so, up and. I can see those hooks are over the, uh, and now it's nice and, and dark. Now you can see the camera is on it. Go to the home. And here you have like different options. What you can do, you can also pair your phone. There is uh, uh, CarPlay and, and Apple, uh, and I call it Android Auto on this uh, device as well, if you want to use it. This is the camera, and this is your reversing camera. So this line here is like 10 centimeters from the bumper, so be really careful. These corners are not completely visible, so there might be something in the angles here. So make sure when you're reversing, there is nothing visible there. So again, when you want to use the camera, this one. Ox, there it is. Uh, yeah, so that's about this. Releasing it, very simple. Then that is that. You can pair, of course, your phone also with this camera. Don't forget to turn off the camera, the, the radio, when you're going to sleep, because otherwise, the following morning your battery will be down, Not empty. So, now we have the turning chairs, and I will try to show you how this works. Well, uh, what you do first is, if you want to turn the chairs, you flip this button. So it flips to the side. And then on this side, you see a button, you press it, and then you tilt it. And then you can turn the chair. And then you, when you flip the button again, you are facing the table, meaning that you can have your conversation with uh, your partners, radio, talk, mingle, whatever you want to do. Uh, so that's uh, very convenient, and it's a uh, huge. Uh, 
um, what is it? It's a used space saver if you have the driver's seats and the passenger seat as real seats for the for the table unit. Um, yeah, that is that. Let me think. I need to explain something more. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, there's one thing here. We have some curtains here. You can use to blind the the sides. You just click them like this. These are like privacy uh, thingies. So these are, and they come on both sides. So then together with the other one, yeah, like full privacy in the cabin. Um, what else? There's a heater there which you can use. Currently, it's uh, off. It uh, works with the heat of the uh, engine, so when it's cold outside and the engine runs, this will produce a lot of uh, warm air, which is convenient. There's a fly screen here. You can use. You just twist it a little bit. Open the door and you see that the door will stay. Uh, if you don't want to use it, you pull the lever up behind it and then the door closes. Uh, let me turn off the lights. So, um, one thing what's important to know from the toilet is that. Every time you empty the uh, the cartridge, you need to add a tab to it. So these tabs, you need to put them in, in the toilet. They reduce the smell. Oven is gas, by the way. So, I think these are the most important things from the inside. If you qu of course have questions, then uh, my number is uh, is in the agreement, so I'll uh, send it to you as well. Car is three meters thirty high. Mm. Or three meters thirty forty high, sorry. And it's uh, two me two meters fifty wide. Best speed to drive it in the highway is uh, around 90%. Uh, 90 kilometers, sorry. That's the safest. I think this is it.